So I've been researching tubbing or putting a tub out for an axolotl and my girl her gills were not looking the best yesterday so I got these three tubs set up and I got her it in one I don't know if it's a girl or boy yet so she's here I got an air stone in there a moss ball and a lid and then I have these two already set up with an air stone this one has an air stone and a moss ball So these are three tubs that I can put uh, this axolotl in daily. And for about two weeks, I'm going to be doing this to try to get her gills to stand up again. I do have another axolotl over there. Um, right now, I'm keeping him in a tank. She's already starting to look better. She just uh, didn't look well last night and her gills weren't as fluffy as they usually are. So these are my tubs to help them get ready to look better. I'll do 100% water changes daily and I hope this works. I can check back in a couple weeks and let you know. There wasn't any uh, good videos on tubbing axolotls or how to do it. So you just take uh, good drinking water, put it in these tubs. I made sure my pH level was good. And then I uh, got it to room temperature the same as their tanks. So it wouldn't shock her. And I let it sit all night. Um, circulating with the air stones so these are gonna be great and it made my job easier by making three tubs for her and then tomorrow tonight when I get home from work I'll see how the wilds doing and if he still has the fluffy looking gills not fluffy but they're like uh, maybe a fungus on it from stress the other one so I'm, I'm monitoring him and then I'll put it in here if need be to heal but this is how you tub an axolotl you have to make sure that your cat and other critters can't get to them with the lid and they won't jump out and we should be good to go after this